four. Lacey, thank you. Seven police officers took the fifth last week. Today, the special prosecutor granted two of them immunity, forcing them to testify. I asked Jeff Wagner how a prosecutor decides who gets immunity. Jeff, as you may know, is a former federal prosecutor, also a talk show host on News Radio 620 WTMJ. Last week, we had seven officers who pled the fifth. Frankie gave two of them a pass today. How do you pick which two? Well, typically what you want to do is you want to work up the culpability ladder. You, you never want to identify the person that you think is most likely to be the most guilty and give them a pass. What you want to do is you want to find the individuals that you think have information but yet have lower levels of culpability and then hope you get information from them. Did they get much out of those two today? Well, it, it doesn't sound like uh, the, the testimony really advanced anything, but I mean, I think John Frankie felt he had to try to do something, and this was that attempt. Frankie did say he was not going to go after either of the reckless homicide charges, first or second degree, instead just looking at failure to render aid. Why would he make that decision? Well, I think what you have to keep in mind is at the end of the day, the prosecutor's got to decide, can you prove a case beyond a reasonable doubt? I mean, I've been trying to follow this testimony pretty closely, and candidly, I just don't think they have felony reckless conduct. You have expert testimony that's all over the map. You have accounts from witnesses that are kind of, kind of inconsistent. I think it would have been almost impossible to secure convictions for reckless homicide, which is a pretty tough standard. Will they even get enough to recommend a misdemeanor? That's an interesting type of question. I mean, clearly, I think the jurors are going to look at this and say something went wrong. Somebody should not die in police custody. Whether it's enough to, to get over the standard and recommend charges, I don't know. But also keep in mind, Mike, that even if they recommend charges, that doesn't mean that the special prosecutor has to issue charges. It's just an advisory decision. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. We always yeah, appreciate his take. Of, he sees it yeah. through the eyes of a former and prosecutor. good to have his expertise right yeah. here in the building. Yeah. Testimony, of course, could wrap up tomorrow. Then the jury's going to deliberate. It's not clear how long it will take to make a recommendation on possible charges. And again, as Jeff mentioned, any decision is advisory.